Hey everybody, what is going on? My name is Buddy Blackford and welcome to the second After Effects tutorial. Today in this tutorial we're going to be learning a little bit about um, the preferences. I'll pull up my preferences so you can see what um, you should possibly have, but it, it will differ for everybody. It depend, depends on how your computer is. Um, and then I'll give you a little bit of tips and then possibly go over the tools panel. If we have enough time up here and I'll let you know like the hotkeys and stuff. So the first thing we're going to go to is um, edit preferences. And then you can just go to general. That, that'll be the starting point. Um, the first thing you want to do in like any program is set up your preferences or else everything's going to be all screwed up and it's going to be uh, a little harder to work or things are going to be slow or you can't see things, whatever. Um, you get the drift. Okay. So um, you can check out here and you can, if you want to, you can pause the video and make sure that you uh, have these ones checked here. Most of these are default. Um, it saves your preferences, so I'm not sure which ones really were default, but um, I definitely unchecked show tooltips because I got sick of that popping up every time. Okay, um, we'll go to previews, and I left everything uh, how it was here. This is all default. Here's the display. Here's the import, and it might be a little boring going through these, so maybe I'll tell a little story while I'm doing it about this uh, woodchuck encounter I had today. So just pause the video if you want to um, do the checks, uh, like set up your check boxes or your times or whatever, or I'll just go slow enough that you can actually... Um, do it within the time as I'm telling the story and everything so you can hear it. So we went to the store to this uh, farm and I was had to uh, smash fence posts and to build a fence for cows so they didn't get out and um, we're just smashing away and all of a sudden this woodchuck comes running out of nowhere and I yell to the guy I'm working with, hey, there's a woodchuck coming after you. And he just runs away screaming like, <laughs> it was funny. I don't know. He just ran away screaming. And that story wasn't as funny as I thought it was going to be. But I guess it'll have to suffice for now because that's all I could think of. <laughs> so um, here we got the... Uh, the median disk cache here. Um, every once in a while, you might want to empty the disk cache. Um, it basically uh, uh, speeds up After Effects every once in a while. I think it's all like, I think it's all uh, slow on you. If that that's something you can try to speed it up. And normally, when you choose a full uh, choose your uh, folder for your cache to go to, you want to usually go to the SSD. So. I could make one on my SSD and um, new folder uh, AE temp, and I can select I can select that, hit OK, and now it'll go to my SSD and it'll be a lot faster. Um, these I just left the same. Video preview I left this how it was. appearance and I left this how it was also most of the preferences you can just leave how they are um, I'm pretty sure autosave isn't turned on so you may want to check autosave projects and uh, I put every 10 minutes um, I have found that that works pretty well because sometimes 10 minutes of work is a lot of stuff and if you've animated like a hundred points or something like that or put a bunch of effects on and you don't you're not going to remember and your computer just randomly crashes for no reason then uh, you will be happy that the autosave is there also you want to always save like all the time like anytime there's a star up here it means your project isn't saved so you can see it up here by the name hit control s or you can go to file and then save but you, that's one of the things that you always want to do, and you'll learn it once you, uh, if once your 
computer program crashes a few times because it always happens. Here's a uh, multiprocessing, and um, I like to turn mine on. I have uh, eight cores in my uh, CPU, and um, it's one of the AMD eight core somethings or another. So I uh, reserved two for the other applications, and then had two gigabytes. So um, this usually helps me render faster, but uh, just so you know, not all the time does it render faster. So this helps most of the time, but not all the time. And here's audio. I didn't mess with this. Here's more audio. I didn't mess with that either. So I'll hit OK.